So let's talk about this lens. So I'm here at Nagahama uh, Seawall today because um, I went here last uh, month and this whole beach is covered with uh, pumice, uh, volcanic um, ash, something like that. And right now, I'm still here. So it's been like um, a month, a month and a half, I guess. Yeah. But this thing is disaster. So I'm here to test this um, 16 mil lens and see how it will uh, perform doing vlogging because I think this lens is meant for vlogging and stuff like that. So yeah, let's see. Look at this. This is what I'm talking about. Look how thick the pumice is. Look at that. And the whole beach is covered with this. Uh, in Japan, we call this uh, karui ishi because this one float. So ishi means rock. So karui means um, light. Let's talk about this lens. I think this lens is really, really good for vlogging. 16 degrees, it's really cold walking into the water. Yeah. <laughs> Woo. So, the sun is coming up. Pros and cons with this lens. It's cheap and lightweight. Good for vlogging. Yeah, you can use it for landscape. Same size as the 50mm uh, 1.8. I think it's the same um, housing different lens inside yeah the cons is um, I don't like that filter thread it's like odd <laughs> size for a, a lens like this um, 43 mil filter thread it's not really common it's really hard to find I hope they they went to um, 52 mil at least you can buy it anywhere even um, drugstore I guess but 43 unless you order it look at the sunrise oh man it's so beautiful this lens is really good for landscape look at this oh man just saw our spray so we will stick a little bit and see if we can you know get a little bit closer to that hood but my problem is the tide I think yeah it's coming in so we have to be careful now look at the, the sunrise over there oh man it's it's really beautiful. So I think this lens is really good for this kind of, you know, photography, videography, as long as you have the right uh, filter, because when the sun rises, um, it's gonna be really blown out. So you need a filter for this one. So maybe I will buy, I will order um, a step up filter, because I own the, you know, the tiny, um, like variable ND. It's really good for um, videography. 
So compare it with my 24 to 105, this one is really light. Um, but the versatility, I think, uh, goes to the 24 to 105 because I can zoom in and out. But this one is fixed, 16 mil. Although I can, I can crop it, like, you know, if I crop it in 1.6, 16, I, I think it's gonna be 25 mil. So 25 mil is really good for, you know, close range vlogging like this. So let's put uh, the 800 mil on my R5. The ass spray is a little bit far. Let's see if we can get some. Wait, did I? I turned off the EVF. Okay. Oh, there you go. I can see it. Oh man. It's far. Let's see. Oh, it's my subject. Oh, there you go. Focus. Yeah. If you shoot video, I think it's better to have tripod, even if your lens is so light. Yeah, the, the, the cons of a uh, light lens is it's not really stable. I like the heavy lens. What are they doing? Huh. Let's walk around a little bit and get close to that bird. But it's ocean. He is in the middle of the water. The ocean water. No, I cannot get ah, cold. Why? Why this clothing? Whoa, I can see a lot of cormorant over there. Let's see. Uh, a cormorant. Oh man. The cormorant is there. I don't even know the name of the bird. Get close a little bit. Let's see if we can get some photo or video because it's really interesting. I never seen that bird in my life here in Okinawa. I've been here for what 12 years? Yeah. And then there you go, the gold water! Oh. <gasps> Oh man, I hope you can feel it. Oh. Feel, feel the coldness <laughs> of a 16 degrees. Oh. So, how do we approach this bird? Because I don't want this bird to fly away. So maybe I will just stop and take a photo and then move a little bit and take a photo. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. There are people over there and I hope this bird, they scare them. Okay. On. Yep. The bird fly away. Where is where are you going? Hey. Hey. Where are you going? There you go. Because there's a lot of people over there. Yeah, there are people over there, scare them. 
tourist, I guess. And my osprey is gone also. Oh man. There is a tiny ring blower. Take some photo and video. Oh, very small. Hey, tiny little creature. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Oh, perfect. Oh, my hand holding is not really good. It is? Yeah, that's all pumice. It's really thick. Yeah. For the beach goer, it's a disaster. Should we do with this? Look at this pumice, pumice everywhere. This the gray color, kind of you know sand thing, is a pumice. So I would call this a pumice land. We are in the pumice land. Look at this. Oh man, disaster. Look at that bird over there. Oh man. That's a lot. Oh. Cormorant everywhere. Look at that. Oh man. My 800 is too, too close. Oh man. Take some video. A little bit tiny in the frame, but yeah. Yeah, perfect. Perfect. No, I lost you. <laughs> I lost it. Mm. Ah. So this is my real world test of this tiny, but very capable lens. It's really good. And I hope you enjoy it. Thank you for watching guys. This has been our photographer JB and I hope to see you in our next adventure. See ya.